All right, let's take a look at this one. Let's play along. Don't spoil, guys. Don't spoil. Will you so be in Montpellier? Yeah, I will be in Montpellier. Okay. And the goal is for you to look at the part of the map and just tell me the first moment of pro play that comes to your mind. Yes. It can be something you did. It can be something your team did. It can be something you saw at MSI or LCK or World. Doesn't matter. Cool. Just when you look at this part of the map, you think, oh, I remember this moment. Wait, G the G2 Disasters. This is already like a spoiler. The fucking title is called G2 Disasters. Yeah. Wait, it's not even a game. There's no points. Fuck my life, man. There's no points. I want to compete. Let me compete. Just a memory, but share yours. I don't know. The issue is, it's like when I see this particular spot, I can only think of my own uh, games. And it's like when we when Fnatic played against SK and we griefed this spot. Oh, this is the shy. This is Satan's this asshole. This is the shy corridor where he went with the Aatrox and then he bombed uh, G2. I guess uh, the shy versus G2. But but what guys? This this is this is this is by the way Vitality versus RNG. The sound is the first fucking sound ult that Uzi has ever been hit by ever in his life. By the way, by the way, this is not the shy corridor. Like, am I crazy? This, am I crazy? It's in river. By the way, the shy. It's in river. By the way, look, it's here. How how is this? It it's here. It's in river. By the way, it's on Drake. Children, man, children. They were not there when uh, things were written. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Ah, ba, Maybe 2018 when he was playing Aatrox in river. When he was like hitting a four man Q or something. Gonna be killed to start this fight off. We did able to find some CC on him. Okay. Balan now gonna be the target of the Vanguard's edge. Wonder trying to make something happen. Okay, I'll show you Cabo Shot Sion because probably they want us to show it. Cabo Shot uh, RNG versus Vid game two. Let's see. Let's let's find it. Uh, this is this is the play, guys. I think Uzi survives with one HP. Like he still gets away. Like he's trying to crawl himself. The safety. Jackro under the turret. Taking aggro goes down as the forge god comes. Look here he goes. One's knocked up as Uzi tries to run. Here he goes. Oh, ow! Boom! Look at that. Exactly in the zone. What do you mean he missed? What do you mean he missed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. half HP. He he lost because he missed. Oh Look Uzi at this. Uzi was just the unkillable demon king, by the way. Like, here comes Jizu. But G2 looks like they just want to disengage this one now. They already ah. got the pick onto the enemy jungler. Oh! So many people! That's the Aatrox damage! By the way, did you guys hear the comms for this? Did you guys hear the comms? The comms are fucking hilarious. Look. Look at the comms. They don't even... Like, bro, the shy doesn't say anything. <laughs> the crazy thing is, the shy and Adam, they have so similar energy on so many levels, bro. <laughs> Look, the shy doesn't say... Bossa, <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so good. Shy makes it happen. What comes to mind here is like humanoid play at worlds. I can see DG. Oh the, yeah. Had. It was in this area of the river. This is a banger. Shuffle like the ADC or something like this, and we ended up winning oh, the fight. Shit. It was like very hot and very close. Humanoid, humanoid. People will say we lost. People will remember and say we lost because of Yumi. I think I put it in my own head, but like the SKT, I don't remember who they were playing, but they were like 8k behind and they did like the Wumbo combo like next to this wall above the bush. Oh yeah. Oh my God! 
It's a classic too. Fucking EDG, man. EDG was always so fucking bad at Worlds for some reason. EDG at Worlds like kicked W. T1 was this, was it... Where like you know what I remember Mugi, here? Like I remember Mickey fucking five men monster fisting us here. That's what I remember. We're like playing Zara Khan, and they were basically 2 e 5 the enemy team. Guma Yushi, like, psychopath flashing into like the enemy ADC just one-shotting him with the Zaya. No, and, like, this is a sick game actually. KT cannot be win against the one, by the way. It's cursed as fuck, by the way. Oh, I mean, our fight against Australis where Adam like smurfed on Aptrox. Yeah, I think oh, yeah. Game was this was sick, actually. We won. The fight was like super close and he killed. Well, like, that's what I was saying. You know, you know, it's like people think about Adam Classics, uh, Darius and, and Olaf and Seth. But honestly, for me, additionally, Adam Classics is Renekton and Aatrox as well. People alone, and if he didn't, they would probably get Nash and win the game. But it's at the cost of Young Hood's life, and with you dropping as well, the swords have the advantage. Copy remains untouched, trying to take down Adam. Adam is trying to kill 113. So far, to fight on multiple fronts, but Copy remains untouched for now. No way. The heal forces the flash, but there's too many members alive. Dashing away the safety, Copy wants to clean it all up. Step just on top of the flame choppers, and the fight goes to us, Charlie. It'll probably be the Sooning 2020 game. When I was playing Bart, we played Bart TF, and we had a fight here. I got a pretty good two-man stun as well, and then we won this fight, and that was the start Ooh. of our comeback. For the kill, and they found it. Angel has been destroyed. Angel. Sooning is in a 4v5. G2 is looking for more. How balanced was TF, by the way? How balanced was TF? You remember this year, guys? Why is Yamato always picking TF? Why is he picking TF? Every game he's picking TF. Yes. Going in, looking to buy some time, looking to protect his valuable members of his team. Lee Sin has to disengage. Juan Fung running away now too. Sooning losing their mid laner. Last uh, year's road call is Bumarishi. Today, today, or oh, by by Baros Q. Who needs smite when you got an arrow? Bumarishi kick. Yeah, 2010 day I was on Lift Sandbox. Yes. G2. What was the team called? Sooning. When Bin was TPing in with Gangplank from behind and one-shotting two people. <laughs> all the G2 PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> all the G2 moments, okay. Holy, look at this barrel combo, by the way. Oh, but as they back look at, look at the double out, passive here from Bin. You got Gangplank on the flank, Gangplank. One big shot, Bin! Can you do it? Oh. <laughs> Holy moly. That is fucking... Bro, that shit gets the people going, bro. Oh, my God! One moment, one shot, one barrel. That's all you need. Suiting. They find their shot. They find their fight, and that's it. I think this one I did. I actually remember from Malmo again when we actually got a fight on this bot lane bush. Like I think we were waiting like for someone to walk up, and then oh, yeah, the fight Soraka? kind of ended up. Oh no! Up, and I got like I think a triple kill with Caitlyn, and then we got like Drake and us. Okay. <laughs> Malmö. Why do people have a hard time saying Malmö? HTK versus Vitality. I have forgiven playing Kogma and I play Malphite and I flash ult five people and I remember I was really, really mad after the game because we lost this game. I flash ulted five people and I was like, yeah, I land five man ult and you guys can't do anything. And then I go look at the replay and I realized I just flash ulted when no one else could follow up on my team just because I saw the wombo. And that was the one time I learned. Bro, a little fucks are so down to give in this. In this. <laughs> this I should get it. So for me, it's like, listen, man. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, three. Falling, and he hits three on the back half of it because Zing is getting melted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was a bug in this game. Always with Nuktak, there's a bug. So basically, Vitality had this combo, right? They barred ult into double bomb. And apparently. You can click the lantern one frame before the bar ultimate is off. So you could lantern yourself out of the Dumble Bomb when in reality... So basically, the refresh rate was not high enough for the Zillion Bombs to latch on even though they were supposed to.
And this game, I remember, there was a lane swap game, and Kawashar was so fucking far ahead because on Graves he would always be greedy and overstay for waves and push waves because he could with Graves. Bander picks the kill credit. Dragon One will be secured. Yankos nearly buys it with his life, though. I remember me playing Bane in Face. Oh, you know what I remember here? I remember here Jezuke, Jezuke uh, versus C9. I will show you. Top lane, this could be a Bro, every fucking time, I couldn't believe it. I shouted them so fucking hard. I say, every time we have fucking Nasher, you guys decide to fucking turn off your brains. I was so annoyed. Can we let LB push one time in her life? This game is so over, by the way. We didn't get to quarters because of this game. Let me see Jizu dance on them. Yeah, definitely. I'm trying to find the moment. At FHP, when Bro, back then, if you got two Elder Dragons, the Elder was fucking five, six minutes duration. Jensen did so much look at this. Let's take a look at this replay. Okay, we have it. Yes, Licorice and Svenskeren are the ones on your screen. Uh, Bro, Svenskeren is playing bomb plating in the jungle. Suzuki is trying to 2v1 over here, but Jensen the Galio doesn't chase around this LeBlanc. He goes straight to the Baron. Okay, let's pretend, pretend we won that game and we played against Fnatic in the semis and then we beat Fnatic in a revenge match and then we played finals against IG and went to five games and we lost anyway against IG. That's what happened, guys. That was, that's the storyline. Checking a self-made Rek'Sai and somehow surviving even though I played it so bad. Self-made on the flank, has the Infinity Edge, remember, he could crit someone. <laughs> oh, 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 he's doing Infinity it! Infinity Edge does all the work, Kobe almost Autumn. dies. Autumn, you there coward. we go, he boy dashes in, <laughs> but the Stand United is too much. <laughs> Kobe gets the kill. Oh, uh, Canyon invade with Nidalee uh, against Peanut in Spring, when he got like three levels up. He was playing Nidalee into Hakarim and he did raves and then stole the Dread and like completely pushed him away. And... With the prio that's available for Gen, uh, for, for Dom on Kia. He rather. lost this game, by the way. <laughs> Kanye oh, lost this game. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? He takes a turret shot just to keep they lost hunting this game. Peanut down. Well, that's brutal. Well, Peanut's going to do the full wraparound, look for his red buff. No, no, and guess no, what's no, gonna no, happen? no, no, guess no, no, no. Guess who's going to be there? Okay. Well, he still doesn't get his buff. Well, maybe he gets his maybe he gets his Krugs. What do you think, Chronicler? Does he get his Krugs? No, <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> this is Canyon's jungle. I love that maybe Canyon's doing red and then okay. psh, spearing as well. Yes, play the Xinjiao. Oh, he invaded. Invade and fight the Bo uh, and Sorke is is died. There's gonna be a little bit more damage. Flash for flash. Does he get another one? Bo goes back in, and Bo says, "Get the hell out of my jungle." <laughs> Chun <Chung> traumatized. <laughs> My jungle thinks bomb plating invades enemy jungle and loses one go. Ah, shit. Shit. All right.